Hey, this is Todd Howard from Ace Fraley's Comet, Cheap Trick, Ted Nugent, 707, 4 by Fate, and Return of the Comet. Hey, you are listening to On the Fly with Stevie and Warden. Yep, that's what you're listening to, and you're listening to it all night long. And maybe during the day. Hell, I don't know. I'm not there. But take my word for it. You are listening to On The Fly. What's up, guys? On the fly is back again tonight. This week, we are excited to have a very special guest on the show tonight. Guys, if you were with us for the live podcast last week, I got interrupted by a message, and I told you guys about it, a message from my good friend Mike Morgan, uh, talking about a KISS tribute show coming to the area. You know what? We've talked about KISS on here. You know how big a fan I am. And I found out it was like, in the in the local area i mean within good reason for me to go see it at the acorn center i was like what is the acorn center so we had to do some investigating and uh found out it was at the old lakeland culture and arts center in littleton north carolina if you guys are not familiar with that uh, that's that's probably about 35 40 minutes from me maybe maybe a little bit less but anyway so i went first thing the next morning tickets went on sale i got my front row ticket and then i did a little investigating and I, I messaged the Acorn Center about possibly getting somebody to come on the show just to talk about the Acorn Center. Because, guys, anytime you can get, I can get local shows around here where I don't have to travel an hour and a half, two hours, and spend over $150 in tickets and get a good show. I'm all for it. I'll support it till the cows come home, whatever. And then I find out that the man in charge, the director of communication, is an old friend of mine a guy that's been a stalwart and a staple in the Roanoke Valley area for years. And I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking back the old channel 20 WNVN days <laughs> and, uh, and on, on the Lake good morning, Lake country days, uh, on, uh, what was it? 90, 102.3 WPTM. Uh, with us tonight is the director of communications for the Acorn Center, Mr. Les Atkins. Les, welcome to the show, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having me tonight. This is great. I'm excited. Yeah. I was telling my mom uh, yesterday. I said she was she was asking me about. She always asked me about the podcast, and I said uh, I said I'm interviewing Les Atkins, and Mom was like, "Why does that name ring a bell?" I said, "Mommy, if you you remember listening to the the uh, Good Morning Lake Country, he always did the news, and he filled in sometimes, and he was on Channel 20." Uh, the the old uh, Run It Rapids television station. She was like, yes. I know exactly who you're talking about now. I know that voice. I remember that voice. But fourteen years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have been you, you have been all around this area and doing doing a great job with what you do. Uh, I know it, it was a pleasant surprise to find out that you were you were in charge of it or you were in charge of communications here, and I'll be talking to you. So tell me a little bit about the Acorn Center. I know it used to be the Lakeland Culture and Arts Center. What yeah. made this what made this switch? I mean, what made the switch to the Acorn Center? The Lakeland Cultural Arts Center had this building for many years, and uh, it was the obviously the former location of the building. Uh, and they they decided not to continue leasing the building and managing the facility uh, as they have been. They really wanted to focus on community theater, which is what they were sort of known for. So uh, that's when the Acorn Center New Management Group came in. And uh, obviously, Lakeland will continue to do shows there, uh, community theater shows at 411 Mosby Avenue. That's the that's the address that it's been known for. They'll continue to do the community theater shows. And then the Acorn Center uh, obviously will produce all of the other uh, shows there. And other people are actually doing shows there as well. So like, for example, uh, D, uh, DJM and company is going to present a comedy show there uh, yeah, sure. later this summer. And so, uh, you know, it's available for other promoters to come in and do shows. Um, and then we are obviously doing some shows there. The Acorn Center is presenting the 
free commerce, uh, summer concert series, which uh, kicks off actually July 11th. It's eight free concerts. So we have the 300 seat theater, which is an indoor theater, uh, fully renovated, uh, millions of dollars spent on this, on this space. You'll be really amazed if you've not been there in years. There's an art gallery there, a beautiful space, a nice concession stand with plenty to drink and, and, and food and all the good things. Uh, and then outdoors is an amphitheater, which holds about 2000 people. Um, so you bring your lawn chair, you come out, it's music under the stars, surrounded by beautiful oak trees right there in the heart of Littleton, North Carolina. So uh, we're excited about that and excited, especially about this concert series. So we'll have food trucks outside and uh, and then you'll you'll come inside for the free uh for well, come inside the amphitheater that is not inside the building, right? For, uh, for the for the concert. So yeah, it, we're excited about those. And I mean, it's some big big names too. Chairman of the board. Oh yeah, uh, Jordan oh. Rayner, who was on The Voice. Um, a lot of people know Chad Thompson. Chad Thompson's going to open up for her. Chad Thompson is actually a country music star locally and regionally. And Chad actually uh, taught at Salemburg for many years and probably taught most of the law enforcement officers in our, in our area. Um, Yeah. He's worked at uh, Salemburg for quite some time as an instructor down there. He's going to open up for, uh, for Jordan Rayner, Um, Ben Fuller, contemporary Christian artist, mega star. I mean, he is, has huge hits on, uh, you know, the message and and all the Christian radio uh, stations that you hear. Um, New Blue is Modern Bluegrass. Right. Uh, they're really popular. They were there last year for the outdoor concert series. Blackwater Band, another uh, sort of an all genre party band. Brick House is a party band. Rigsby Road, real popular in the Raleigh-Durham area. And they're making their way down to this area. Um, and they sort of play all genres, mostly women in that group. Phoebe's, if you've not heard the Phoebe's. Fat Albert and the Phoebe's. Pardon? <laughs> is it Fat Albert and the Phoebe's? Yeah, so the Phoebe's yeah. is uh, an African-American rock band and they rock it out, mostly women. And they have electric guitars and wow. they rock out. You'll have to look them up. Uh, and I mean, it is a, it's going to be a heck of a show. They were actually uh, had just about a sold out show in the Greensboro uh, area a couple of weekends ago. Uh, and they, I mean, they just slam rock it out. They do all the like classic rock type hits. And then Fat Alberts is just a party band. I mean, they do it all and they're amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, this is like I said, guys. This is totally free, and it's in, it's like you said, under the stars in Littleton, outside at the amphitheater. And this is something I think this area really needs because there's a lot of, you know, I know the Wake Forest area. My door, my, I've got some friends up there. They do like a uh, Friday night series like this. This is something this area needed. I mean, really needed something that you can you can go to. You can look forward to some entertainment and don't have to go. Like I said, an hour and a half, two hours to to get to, uh, and it come on, guys, you can't beat it. Totally free. All you got to do is pay for your food and whatever you you drink out there. Yeah, and it, really, got lots of local food trucks out there. Uh, I don't know if you know Tommy and Angela Curl. They have a ten thirty three cookhouse. Tommy's a um, Tommy and Angela have worked in uh, EMS all across the okay. Northampton Halifax area. And uh, and they have amazing food. I'm really excited about them being out there. So it's it's all about a community thing. You know, we're supporting the community. These other people get an opportunity. These food trucks get an opportunity to come out and make money. Um, obviously, we're going to have plenty to drink out there. And, uh, and it's just going to be incredible. Eight weeks of Thursday night. So mark your calendar. Uh, come thirsty, come for thirsty Thursday. How about that? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah, I, man, I am excited about. It. I'm going to try to make at least a couple of these, a few of these, because there's there's some. I'm I'm interested in in what you were talking about, the Phoebe's. I, I really like to see what they're all about. And guys, I mean, Chad Thompson, you talked about Salemburg. I was at Salemburg doing that school in 2009, 2010, somewhere in that time range. So I don't know if he was there then. But that name did ring a bell. Um, and you kick off with the chairman of the board. I mean, yeah, huge. legendary yeah, band. That's huge right there. So, guys, and that should be a huge crowd out there for the chairman of the board. Uh, one of the best beach music bands around. Um, and just looking at this lineup, guys, like I said, free. Take time out of your Thursday night. Like you said, Thirsty Thursday. Come 
ready to eat and ready to have have a few drinks and enjoy some good music, good entertainment. So yeah, the, the idea was that we would open gates at five. We'll have food service ready, um, you know, a little bit before five. So if you get off work, you know, you can come straight there and then the concert won't start until 630. We'll have an opener for each. Um, before the headliner will come up at uh, probably around 7.30 or so, uh, closer to 8 o'clock. Um, we hope to be out of there, you know, 9, 9.30. So people got to get to work on Friday, yeah. right? <laughs> Some people still have to work on Friday. That's um, right. What is Now, we talked about direct, you're a director of human communication, excuse me. Are you the ones that are uh, that are booking this, this these bands, or what is your role as far as communications go? I'm just the marketing guy. I'm the guy behind the social media, behind the website, uh, and and I'm handling all of the marketing for these shows. Um, and, and it's been really interesting. You mentioned Wake Forest. Um, you know, Wake Forest has been kind of loosely termed as uh, Lake Aston is Wake Forest's new playground, apparently. Right. So we've gotten lots of response from Wake Forest and from that community that want to come to these shows and that are supporting our shows, interestingly enough. Obviously, we're kind of in a unique position because we're right here. Uh, Littleton is right, you know, not too far from Roanoke Rapids and not too far from, uh, from the Wake Forest in Durham, Oxford, Henderson, all those areas. Sorry, my dogs are... Uh... I guess they were interested in what you were talking about. Hey, that's all right. I thought it was mine. So I was glad to hear that it's your dogs and not yeah. mine. You know, it, we've got, we've got some local bands in the area that, you know, if they wanted to get it in contact with somebody, who would they get in contact with about maybe, maybe getting a, a, on one of these shows in the future? Absolutely. The best thing to do is send your information to box office at the acorn live.com. It's box office at, the acorn live.com and uh and they will certainly route your information a, a good youtube video will be helpful and any kind of information uh, or any kind of video that we can kind of see you know uh you in action so to speak and we get a lot of those bands uh local and regional bands that will message us each week that are interested in performing there so yes we certainly want to showcase local talent and that's something we may look at for next year as well a battle of the right. bands uh, oh, yeah. We've got lots of things that that we're looking at for, you know, in the coming months. Um, let's talk a little bit about not just the summer concert series, but something I'm really excited about. You guys are actually having the uh, indoor concerts, which you, you have to buy tickets to these, though. Uh, you've, got, you've got two shows that are definitely uh, on my radar. The first one I've already bought a ticket to. I don't know if I'll make it to the, the the on the border, the Eagles tribute band. I'm a huge Eagles fan as well. But talk a little bit about these. <clears throat> are the, is this just the start of the of uh, of the concerts like this? What you guys are trying to do? Because uh, I I would definitely love to see, and would be interested in more concerts like this, like the indoor stuff. Absolutely. Uh, we'll have a mix of different things inside. Obviously, concerts. Uh, we had Landslide, which was uh, Landslide is um, on the border's uh, sister band. So obviously on the border is uh, Eagles Tribute. Landslide is Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they call themselves sister band. So what we what we'd love to do is next year have the two of them outside for like a big weekend show. Yeah. But um, but as far as inside goes, we're looking at uh, different things really for the coming months. Mr. Speed is the Kiss Tribute Band. Uh, they've been called the world's best Kiss yeah. Tribute Band. I mean, they do the whole makeup thing, rock it out, the the, the fake blood coming out of the mouth. I mean, <laughs> the pyro no fire, no, no fire inside, though. I don't yeah, they yeah. They, they are high energy. Uh, you can check out their, um, if you click on our website and click on the link to Mr. Speed's Kiss Tribute, you'll see their video, their YouTube video. Um, we're certainly excited about them coming, excited about On the Border. On the Border has been, uh, they were inside uh, earlier in the year and we're bringing them outside, you know, so that we can certainly have more people there. And I'm, I'm really excited about Mike Super coming. Mike Super Magic was guy. on, you know, America's Got Talent. Yeah. He won, um, gosh, he won NBC's uh, Phenomenon. Uh, he was on Penn and Teller, um, and he's like America's favorite mystifier. Um, and his, oh, I, I watched the video of him with Howie Mandel, 
And it is really incredible. I mean, he like freaks Howie out. He freaks Simon out. Um, it, it's it's wild. That's going to be a really interesting show. It's it's a family show, obviously. Um, and if we sell out the night show, we may end up doing a matinee that day as well. Wow. Um, but it is a uh, it's magic and illusion like you've never seen before. I mean, this guy's you know been all over. Uh, all over the U.S., so I'm excited about that particular show coming to the Acorn. Guys, if you and I haven't mentioned the website yet, but if you go to the AcornLive.com, you'll find all of this there. It's a really well put together website. I'm sure uh, Mr. Atkins is responsible for that. Um, and it's a bit, you guys. You got a busy month of August uh, with the free concert with New Blue, then Mr. Speed, Blackwater Band. The, on the border, you if you're looking for something to do in the month of August, you need to look at, at this, guys. And uh, like I said, the Mike Super show is August 16th. You can get all you find all your tickets and for information there. It's it's really simple. And then you get a look at if you take a look on about us and do it, the venue viewer, you get a good look at the inside of, of the uh, uh, Acorn Center. You get a good look at everything there. Check it out. Um, so what else? I mean, you talk. You, it says up here that the facility is available for rent. The people can rent this out for like different occasions. Yeah, interestingly, when they when they did the remodel, there's actually a, a space called the Actors Studio, which that holds about 150 people, um, and that can be turned in. It has a, a small stage on it, so it could be used for. Um, a corporate meeting. It can be used for any kind of lecture or something like that. Um, we've had a lot of local corporations rent it for, uh, you know, more of their corporate type meeting and lecture types of things. We have what's called Studio B, which is a little smaller space. Uh, and that's been used for everything for board meetings to bridal showers, to baby showers, little uh, kid birthday parties. Um, we've had a couple of birthday type parties and, um, you know, a little bit larger events in the um, in the actor studio as well. And the art gallery actually holds about 150, 200 people seated. So we've actually had um, some wedding receptions there. We're hosting a class reunion there this year for one of the Roanoke Rapids high school classes that will be having their reunion there. So it's a multi-purpose space. And then, of course, you have the 300 seat theater. Uh, which is another space you can use for, you know, showing a video or, you know, some sort of lecture on stage. So um, we're certainly available for those rentals as well. And a lot of people have been taking advantage of those during the week. So we talk about the, the, the website, like I said, guys, the acornlive.com. Uh, you can find everything there. You find their phone numbers up there. Everything that you need to know is up there. Uh, what el where else can they find out about the Acorn Center? What social medias do you have? We're on Facebook, the Acorn NC, also on um, on Instagram. So be sure to check us out there. Um, we're we're all over social media, so uh, so it's easy to find us. Uh, somebody the other day said I couldn't find you on social media, and I said just type the Acorn Center Littleton, and uh, and it'll certainly right. come up. Right, and uh, like I said, guys, the summer concert series you can't beat that free every thursday night it looks like every thursday night the month of august and, and come out there ready to eat and have a few drinks i mean they got you covered and you got good entertainment out there um, absolutely and we'll be adding things uh, we're going to announce our we've already sort of put on our website to save the date for some of our christmas shows we're going to be announcing some other events coming up uh we have a photography contest that we're in the middle of right now we'll have an art show here soon uh, just all different kinds of events that are coming up and uh, stay tuned to our website for all of those events. And I'm looking here, you've got a murder mystery dinner theater coming up in November. Yes, that's going to be really cool. We're excited about that group uh, coming in. And that's one of those things where I've already got eight friends and we're going to get a table and we're going to solve <laughs> this thing. <laughs> now that would be, that's different. And guys, this is what you want. I mean, really, Come, hey, I'm looking here. I didn't even see this down there. You were talking about the December stuff. Elvis Christmas featuring Matt Lewis. You know, yeah, Elvis you know Matt Lewis was the Vegas Elvis. He's yeah. the guy who was on Vegas uh, at, um, oh, golly, uh, Legends. 
in Vegas. Uh, yeah. He was there for years. So uh, Matt puts on a heck of a show. And also um, Jessica Lynn's Christmas will be a couple of days at the theater. And what's interesting about that show is that will also incorporate some local dance teams, uh, okay. some local uh, dance companies, I guess you can say, from some of the dance studios around the area. Uh, they will also be participating in that particular show. So we're really excited about that. Okay. So guys, like I said, support this. This is, this is great for this local area to have some shows like this where you don't, like I said, I can't, I can't emphasize that enough where you don't have to go an hour and a half, two hours to see a, a good show. You don't have to pay, Oh, the whole hundred dollars plus uh, all these fees and stuff like this. When you can go, you can go to a good show for $50. Hey, we have free parking. You don't have to pay to park. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you think about that, guys. You don't have to pay to park. If yeah. you go to a show now at some of these places, you're going to end up just just to get in there, you're going to pay probably $200, $250. And that's not counting what you eat or drink there. So Absolutely. think about that and support the local stuff around you guys. And, and Les, before we let you go, uh, anytime I can help push anything on here for you guys, let me know. I'll be more than happy to have you on. Uh, but – and before we let you go, I'm nervous about this. Yes, we <laughs> always do on the fly. Always the we the first time we have somebody on here, we always do the two minute drill. Okay. And I warned him about it before we came on the show, and uh, I just told him do like Joey on Friends, clear your head. First thing that pops in your head, it will be it. All right. Okay. So get your head straight. Here we go. Favorite food? Pizza. Okay, that'll tie into something later. <laughs> Coke or Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Okay. Lake or beach? Oh, oh, that's tough. Uh, let's go lake. Okay. Favorite movie? Dead Poet Society. Wow. Okay. That's Nobody's ever heard of that, but I like. Right oh, I know. I know all about that. I've seen okay. it. Right. Favorite music artist? It's a single artist, not a band. We'll get to the band in a minute. Okay. Dolly Parton. Pineapple on pizza? Yes. Okay. Favorite <laughs> dessert? Uh, brownies. The first concert you ever went to? First concert I ever went to? Man, I got to think back. <laughs> oh. What's the first one you remember? I'll put it that way. Um... I think it was Dolly Parton with my parents. Come to think of it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I was going to ask them. My parents are huge country fans. So right. I look. This there's nothing. Right. Look, country music for me. Back in the '80s, I was like the mullet guy, and I didn't like country music. I turned it past the channel. Room. But then in the '90s, I got hooked on it, and I, you know, I love country music. I was going to ask you the first. I think this would be the first album you ever bought with your own money. Do you remember that? First album I ever bought with my own money. I remember buying another one bites the dust <laughs> as a, we, as a single, a single. See, yes, people, as a 45. People as don't a, even realize kids. That was the little records. I mean, I know <laughs> vinyl, I know vinyl has come back into play cause I'm <laughs> collecting vinyl again, but these are the little vinyls. These are the little vinyls. Yeah. Do you were you around here? You were around here when Camelot Music was the the place to be in the old Becker Village Mall, weren't you? I, I remember hearing about it. I was I don't think I was were, living in the area at the time. That was the place to be, guys. I mean, I I probably spent I, I should have had stock in Camelot Music. I spent Camelot so Music. Um, all right, last question. Favorite TV show? Favorite TV show probably going to be Big Bang Theory. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. These I are answers that. nobody else will give you. I promise. Well, I, well, the, the Dead Poet Society I hadn't heard yet. I've heard yeah. some different, ones, but I've heard some different ones, like some ones that are, you know, not ones that I've watched more than once. But uh, you know, you know, Robin Williams. That that's that's yeah. a really good movie. I need to go back and watch that again. That's a great All movie. Right. All right. So thank you so much, Les, for taking time out of your uh, busy schedule. Like Thank you. This was we're, fun. I appreciate it. We're, we're going to get this out there uh, to everybody. And we're going to really, anytime you've got some, like I said, to push, if you don't want to come, you don't have time to come on the show, just send it to me. I'll put it on the, the group page 
I'll put it on my, my personal page. But anytime you guys need to come on here and want to talk about something and we need to push it, let me know. I'll be more than happy to have you on. Sounds great. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, that is Les Atkins, Director of Commun Communications. That was a big word for the Acorn Center on the fly. We'll see you next week on the fly.